What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna to be taking on sinsaro's marsh and we are on level 13 only four weeks into the game and we are pushing along heavily um we're using a pretty friendly team and so oh, well, let's just rewind actually um so sinsaro's marsh is one of my favorite out of the dungeons i love getting commanders um, these are the caves obviously it's great to get gear but you can only get like so much gear and you know i farm loads of gear now i feel that i need to shift away from disa cave and focus more on sincero's marsh and when you start to like level up your commanders it like massively you watch your power level just spike hugely and it does really really help uh terra dome i'm not a fan prototypes they're okay i'm not really loving it I'm definitely uh, way more invested into Sinsaro's Marsh. So this is a video for anyone sort of stuck between levels 11, 12, and 13. Um, obviously, you could use the same comp that I've got and just scale it back a little bit to progress through up to 11. And actually, so we're getting now, we're also getting a 40% chance of getting that commander as well. And it's just huge. It just is massive. Uh, and actually, do you know, while we're here, let's just buy a whole bunch of copies a bunch buy a whole bunch of stamina uh, i'm not gonna use it for this video because i reckon i can actually probably push through to 14 so i'm gonna save that for after the video so yeah level 13 we're just gonna use one one stamina so the team we're running with is orthan the tank um serena anpu um ravenar and then taylor swift uh, commander we've got rota so rota is great for this he brings um extra attack for anyone standing in the back row and then we've also it like helps uh air support heroes as well you can also use grace as well but she's she doesn't have like the same benefits as rota she's not giving us any offensive stat bonuses so that's why i prefer to use rota first prototype we're rocking is dark summit so whenever an assassin or hunter inflicts a critical hit they shall have a 30 percent chance to inflict bonus damage equal to 1.4 percent of their max hp and up to 170 percent of the user's attack so um, this is great taylor swift has loads of crit rate on him so he's gonna be popping off a lot with crits so that's gonna really speed up the run do loads of damage uh, then we've got ultima ring so this is for tanks and whenever they receive a uh, receive damage they have a 20 percent chance to reduce the attack of the attacker for 24 by 24 percent for five seconds this is huge this is going to really reduce the damage that the boss and his minions are doing to us and it just makes it a lot easier survivability is key uh, scholars monument so when an allied hero sustains a critical critical hit from the enemy all heroes shall recover one percent of their max hp this cannot be triggered uh, so this can only be triggered once every three seconds that is insane this is so broken this is one of the best prototypes i've been leaning heavily on it and the pro this prototype paired up with serena um it just makes it so easy it really does it's going to make it a piece of cake and we're going to be full auto um so yeah Orthan, obviously he's gonna be tanking this he's not that evolved i think i got two or three copies of him so he's probably mythical um but yeah he you know he's not that evolved Ravenar is a hard carry for this she's only elite one and she's doing so much work um taylor is uh immortal so tony the tiger is pretty developed but he does do an insane amount of damage and anpu is a real surprise for this um you know i just sort of threw him in the team um but what makes him so good is he's constantly throwing out aoe damage he also does a big stun as well so he's going to be killing the spiderlings before they get to the poison and if he doesn't kill them he's going to stun them and by the time they've like come out of that stun ravenar will pick them off as well um so yeah this is a pretty accessible team like we've got yeah we've got three ss heroes but they're all easy ones to pick up right ravenar you know she's pretty easy to pick up from loads of different events and Pooh is exactly the same and Orthan, where he's new to the game he's also really easy to pick up 
So to get co multiple copies of the heroes was pretty simple. And the, anything that I could do to sort of evolve them, I was. And it's quite funny. So I don't know if you just saw there. This is, we. It's, it wasn't the smoothest run. Like basically it always comes down to Orthan surviving at the very end. The whole team dies and it's all on Orthan's shoulders, but he definitely will carry you. Um, so let's just look at the damage. So uh, Orthan, 9.6 million damage. Like he is insane. Like he can tank, he can really pump out the numbers. Like he's one of my favorite new SS heroes to the game. Just like so sick, he's on another level. Um, and then we've got um, Ampu. Of, obviously, he's doing like the most amount of damage at 14.1 million damage. Just constantly like just hitting and doing damage. His minions are coming as well. Such a beast. Uh, Taylor only at 6.8 million. Um, but yeah, again, you can see that they are like the most evolved in the squad. Oh, well, apart from Serena, but obviously she's a healer. She don't she don't count. She's we're not talking about healers right now. And then Ravenar, okay, she's at three point one mil, but she is nowhere near evolved. These guys are they're miles ahead of her, um, but she's still doing a ton of work, doing loads of damage. And obviously she's important because she does that AOE damage to the spiderlings. We need that. Um, yeah, so you know I'm now going to level up, and I'm sure I'm going to have to smash through this. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you guys all the builds on all the heroes. So let's start with Serena. So I've just leveled up recently. She does, I've, I'd say probably the, the lowest you could get away with her is probably legendary. Um, but yeah, I've been investing heavily in her. She is so good. Um, I did feed her. Do not feed her. Um, I just looked at her and I thought, she looks basic. She just looks like a basic hero. She's definitely food. She's not. Don't do it. She's a beast. So gear-wise, you want to be getting um, abundance set. This is going to increase the healing by 35%. It's huge. And then you just want to be looking for anything that's going to give you HP. So we got Vigorous for that. Not a good helmet. I should probably see if I can get a replacement for that. Just going to be a little bit cheeky and see if we can. I probably don't. We want, I think HP percentage would be best, but we don't. So we're going to leave it for now. But yeah, so total stats, 275k HP. That's pretty much all that matters. But obviously uh, crit damage reduction and damage reduction are good in her as well. Um, but yeah, HP is pretty much what you want to stack. And of course, we want to get that healing. Her exclusive is really good as well. And it's only a plus 10 at the moment. And again, that just increases um, her healing as well. Next on the list, Anpu. So, um, yeah, for this one, I feel like you probably need to have him at Legendary. I was lucky enough to get a few copies of him. Um, and then I just, I think I just invested in him wherever I could. Like I had some of those blue balls. I can't remember what the blue balls are called. Something hybrid genes or something. Um, definitely use those on your SS heroes. Do not use them on elites. And yeah, definitely invest in Ampu, like absolute god tier. Just, and he looks so cool. Like the cape, even the stance, he is so cocky. He is one cocky mother. You know what I mean? He's, he is. So we just want to stack attack and accuracy on him. So we've gone for um, four pieces hero and two pieces Hawkeye. So substats, you want to look for accuracy. You want to look for attack and even a little bit of HP as well. HP is good on him. You want him to be able to survive. Um, gloves, attack percentage. I've gone for HP percentage on the helmet. I did actually want to try and get some more accuracy on him, but it's fine. And then um, attack on the boots. So we've got 10.3k attack, 43 accuracy and 215k HP. Again, you need HP on him for that survivability. And the weapon is only plus 10 at the moment. I, yeah, we can't. I don't. Can I? I'm not sure. But I will probably level it up at some point. Then we've got Taylor Swift, aka Tony the Tiger. So you could probably get with away with him being probably around mythical for like at least a level 11. But yeah, he's in a solid build. Like 7.8k attack, 65% uh, crit rate, and 68 percent crit damage beast so we've gone full crit rate on him 
Uh, you want substats of crit rate on him, substats of crit damage. Got a lot of nice double rolls here, all in the right places. Uh, then we've got crit damage on the gloves. You want to go crit damage. I mean, I'd be really reluctant, reluctant, reluctant to go for crit rate. Definitely go for crit damage. It's going to make so much difference. Uh, attack percentage on the helmet and then attack percentage on the boots. I mean, he's built really well. He's got some insane gear on him, especially for like an early game account. So Orthan, we are lucky to pick up. I think three copies of him or something, but he's already a mythic. And yeah, he is like, considering he's pretty low compared to the other heroes, he's a hard carry. He's doing, I'm using him literally everywhere. Um, So Vigorious, triple, th uh, yeah, triple, triple set of Vigorious. And we're going for HP and accuracy in the substats. Again, some accuracy there, some HP. HP percentage on the gloves, on the helmet, and on the boots, 510k HP. That's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, he's just insane. And wait, I, I'm going to be leveling up any day now. Definitely going to be uh, evolving him quite a bit. And that's just going to bump up the stats hugely. Uh, 21 accuracy. And we've got no damage reduction. A little bit of damage reduction on him would be pretty sweet, actually. I should probably do that. I mean, he is doing some insane damage. But it will probably increase his survivability. So maybe that's... I need to probably swap out the boots or something. And exclusive. No exclusive yet. Definitely something to work towards. And I feel like with Ravenar... God, she is so low down the chain. But yeah. So she's elite plus one. Um, yeah. And she's still doing so much for us. It's crazy. So we've gone for three pieces. Sun Signet for that crit rate. And then... Uh, just one piece overload. Again, substats, you want crit rate, attack percentage, and crit damage. Not the best rolls there. These are some pretty nice gloves, though. Um, yeah, again, crit damage on the gloves, attack percentage on the chest and the boots. 41% crit rate, 58% crit damage, and then 4.3k attack. You can see, like, she's nowhere near as well built as the other heroes. A big part of that is her not being as evolved and just lacking gear a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to be, I will be dropping a video very soon because I'm going to evolve all these heroes and just, I want to see what the differences are, like how much they jump up. But yeah, um, but yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope this helps you guys progress in the game. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure to smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I'll catch you all in the video soon. Peace.